Hey, Warrior Women. I wanted to jump in here on this Friday and wish you a happy Friday and um, give you a little bit of encouragement if you've had a rough week or if you've had a rough couple weeks, rough months. Um, just come in here and give you a little encouragement and share with you uh, some Bible verses that I was reading this week um, that just hit a little different this time. You know, you can read Bible verses over and over again, and they, you know, not they not really jump out at you. But this time, this this one did. I actually felt the pain in it. And the verses I'm talking about is two verses here: um, John 16, 32, and 33. And um, it says here, "Behold, the hour comes." yea is now that you will all be scattered every man to his own and you were and you're going to leave me alone and this is jesus um he was talking to his 12 disciples and it was right before he was going to be headed to the cross and i actually felt the pain in this this time i you know my heart just kind of tweaked when i read it because with one of the things that we seem to forget sometimes is that jesus came as the son of man not the Son of God. Um, so he was human in, in, you know, his emotions just like we are, human in our emotions. And um, he was going to the cross and knew that his people who he had done life with, you know, his friends, who he spent the last three some odd years with, they were all going to abandon him when he was going to be in the no most need, you know, of, of their support. They were going to leave him. Um, and he knew that. And imagine, imagine how that made him feel. And he, the next thing he says, um, and yet I'm not alone because the Father is with me. So this is the encouraging part that whenever, you know, the people that we love, our friends, they abandon us, you know, whatever the, the world is lobbing at us, because, you know, we're in this world, it's a sinful world, so, um, you know, the enemy hates us. <laughs> All of these things, you know, it's, it's, the ride is going to be a bumpy ride, and all kinds of hurts are going to occur to us. But the, the Lord, Jesus is saying here, even though you guys are all going to leave me, I know that I can always still count on the Father, as we can too. He never leaves us. Even if, say, that maybe we are the ones who messed up in the last week or so, a few weeks, you know, and we did something um, that we wish that we could have taken back or said something or did something differently, you know, um, he's still there for us as well. We are under no condemnation. All we have to do is repent and come to him and he never leaves us. You know, the only thing that makes us unworthy is when we reject him. That is when we become unworthy. But he never, he's never, he's always faithful to always be there for us. We just have to repent and come back to him. Um, and so, and then the next thing he says is, um, these things I have spoken unto you that in me ye might have peace. So that's always where we're going to find our peace is we tend to let the world drag us away from coming to his feet, abiding in him. We end up doing things in our power when we should be doing it in his, you know, not by my might or by my power, but by my spirit, says the, saith the Lord. And the more time we spend at his feet, the more that we start operating in that spirit. That's where we have to be, to be able to walk in that spirit power is at his feet because otherwise we end up trying to do it in our own and that's when you should realize oh i'm really struggling here you know um when's the last time you've spent some time with him it's probably been a little while so you need, we need to come back to him seek him first because that's where our peace is at um in the world you should have tri tribulations just like i was saying uh but be of good cheer you know, let your heart be joyful because I have overcome the world. It's just what we need to remember always is we are kingdom children. He's overcome the world. That's where our peace is at. That's where, you know, the flow is at. That's where we're not going to struggle anymore is if we come to him and we look to him and we give him our will and we do it his way. 
He's always going to be there for us. He's never going to leave us. And I just wanted to leave you with that reminder. And I hope you guys have a blessed weekend. And I'll see you all again soon.